Yeah. How how was that period for you? Ah, oh, it was tough. Mm. Oh, it was it was tough back it, then. It it was tough, especially since. So when we're saying sex, we're not just talking. It it it's it anything to do with stimulation. <laughs> What is happening, LNM fam? Hey, LNM fam, welcome back to another video. My name is Little, also known as Atuma. So, in today's video, we are sharing with you guys a story of our pregnancy, how we couldn't have sex during our pregnancy, and for almost a year. For almost a year, and how I'm um, waiting before marriage also saved our marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for returning subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> you had to take a pause. <laughs> Thank you so much for returning subscribers. We love and appreciate you. And if you are new to the channel, please make sure that you click the subscribe button and become part of the LNM fam. Also, check out the description box. We have left the links to our social media pages Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. And all those good things, those man. Good things. What is happening, LNM fam? My name is Mr. Champ Till I Die, also known as Mr. Champ, child of God. People change, but not God. Is it two chains or not God? We never know, man. The captain of the winning team, man of integrity, from the highest tower of society, the principal of principles. Mr. DJ, would you play my summer love? It's a disaster. Why would you learn a rose? You better eat past the pasta, also known as Mkluwa. Wabakuluwa, also known as the Buddha and Dala Iyan of the Bafondians, the Khrotman of the Magodins. Abasutu Babu Zabachi, Abuti Kau Tolagai. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm a Kan Tolakala, baby. Also known as. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, so we are just you bringing you. <laughs> Uh, we are bringing you a story time today where we are just talking about how we actually had to abstain within <laughs> our marriage. <laughs> <laughs> abstain by circumstances. Uh, yeah, maybe let's just give a background of our journey in terms of waiting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we start with the waiting? So, mm. we did shoot a video. It's, it's actually one of our best performing videos in terms of the testimonies that we've been getting from that video yeah. we were very uneasy shooting that video like we took even with this one it's like it's, it's one of those exact out there yeah. yeah but look we there are things where the holy spirit will tell us to to actually put it out there because someone needs to hear it yeah. so when we put out that video we were not proud about it i mean we stayed together before marriage and then we were putting it out there we were scared to be judged you know by especially in the christian in the kingdom of god by, by just people in general let's just yeah. put it like that we you like okay you're staying together between marriage but you say that you are christians blah 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 you know but the response that we got from the like even like a few days ago we got another person there just saying that uh they feel like they know exactly what to do because of that video so every ever so often we get like a testimony uh, from, that from that video it's a video it's one of those timeless videos so if if you haven't watched the video please do after this please do go back and 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 watch that video maybe you will get something so now fast forward to 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 the pregnancy to the pregnancy the yeah. first pregnancy um while the, the miscarriage didn't happen in just one day so it was a, a series of ongoing events so when we went to the gynecologist, he told us, or well, she told us that we need to abstain from having sex um, because my cervix is short and soft, um, so sex could trigger a miscarriage. So she said that we need to wait for two weeks before we can start having sex again. So we did indeed wait for two weeks and we didn't have sex for two we weeks. We did indeed didn't do the deed. <laughs> oh, <well done. laughs> And then we didn't have sex for two weeks, and then after two weeks we continued with, with our lives, and then a few months down the line um, we lost the pregnancy. And then falling pregnant again, we went to another gynecologist. Um, 
he did say that we are going to have to take measures to ensure that the pregnancy does not terminate prematurely so we there's certain limitation limitations that he gave to us and one of them were um were that we couldn't have sex after the cervical sacrilege yeah. was put in so i had to have my cervix stitched we have a video about that as well so yes. you can check it out how how that went yeah but just before it was done the procedure was done we were not comfortable we tried we tried yeah we did have sex a few times but we were not comfortable with, with having sex knowing our experience yeah. from the past ex uh, from the past pregnancy so we didn't want to take any chances yeah. so even before they put in the stitch we made a decision um, to not have sex yeah but we didn't know like well, how long you know yeah. we're still hoping that at some point you know like we never decided that throughout this pregnancy we're not, not gonna, gonna have sex so we thought maybe at some point you know once we are comfortable we'll have sex but um the doctor confirmed after the stitch after the stitch imagine now yeah. we had already we had our self-imposed Restriction. Uh, restriction and yeah. then after the psychology they said you can't yes. you, you you can't have sex yeah. and then the the stitch was only gonna be removed at, at 36 weeks, 36 weeks out of hmm, 40 weeks out of 40 weeks yeah you know so and then once once it was removed yeah. the doctor said ah you guys uh, can can do your thing now I mean mm. even if the baby comes mm. it, it, it will yeah. be so now <laughs> One thing that didn't sit very well with me is the fact that they said they could save the baby. <laughs> <laughs> they could at save the baby yeah. at uh, third trimester. Now, you know, when they're saying they could save, that means there's a chance that it might not. That's not the ideal way. So we're like, ah, we've already waited, man. Let's just let's just Thanks, wait yeah. it out. But look, it it was not easy. We say it like it, it was an easy thing to yeah. do. It was not because. Even I wanted to ask you, like, yeah. how how was that period for you? Ah, it was tough. Mm. Ah, it was it was tough. But it, then it it was tough, especially since. So when we're saying sex, we're not just talking. It it it's wrong. anything to do with stimulation. Stimulation. It's not just penetration. Yeah. It's like anything that is gonna be like anything sexual. Yeah. What made it even tough is the fact that even afterwards, there's another six weeks <laughs> that you you still yeah. need to wait. wait. Yeah, you so, can't just like be like, oh, be like, now oh, we yeah, are. Yes, put done. the baby aside, <laughs> and then because you also had like a, a C-section. I had a C-section, but I think is it, it the same? If, if yeah, I think it's say it's the same. You still have to wait six weeks, even if you give birth natural. Yeah. Yeah, you still have to wait for the six weeks, and then they give you a green light after that. Yeah. So. <laughs> So, but one thing throughout that um, that experience sort of came back to us is, you know, we, we did mention that we, ma we made a video about when God actually sort of, um, not sort of, but uh, called us to called wait. us to, to wait, even, even though we had been having sex for years, yeah. you know, our relationship, we had been having yeah. sex for years. We, and it was even tough to comprehend that you can actually have sex for so long with someone and then all of a sudden you are you are told to wait because mm. i remember we were asked about it mm. uh, like to say okay you guys are gonna have to stop if you haven't said you're gonna have to stop you're like yeah. how is that even possible but yeah. then god made it possible god and now with that whole thing we connected it to say you know god was preparing god was actually preparing yeah. for us for this even though we didn't know at the time mm. and i think had we failed that test that actually god put us through we probably would have failed this test that meant so much to us you know and possibly lose the baby exactly the exactly yeah and 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 one benefit of waiting before marriage for me was that even during our pregnancy there was never a point where i thought my husband was gonna go outside to find something that i couldn't give to him because yeah. i knew that they had he he was in it yeah you know yeah. he was in it he has done it before mm -hmm. out of the willingness of yes. his heart yeah. of, uh, yeah. out of him being called by god yeah so i knew that he was not going to now go and cheat on me yeah at, at that stage of the pregnancy so i was so comfortable in that but it doesn't mean that i wasn't feeling guilty 
um there was that guilt there was still guilt like i still felt bad that i i couldn't <laughs> like have sex with my husband yeah. but i was comfortable in knowing that he's not going to go elsewhere <laughs> yeah I, i think it's very important that you are both in it i mean we understood what we stood to lose yes. if if we messed around and 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 did something so mm. and uh, like i i mentioned you know it's a it's a psycho- psychological thing because you know when when you decide in your mind to say yeah. that you know what because if i do this then these these are the repercussions then then when you are able to actually even though because i mean i i could have easily just said okay you know my wife is pregnant now and yeah. there's really nothing that i can get from her and it's understandable but then i can always find other ways go yeah. get someone she's the one who's pregnant so <laughs> so I, i'm not pregnant you know but then i was like no you yeah, know she's together. pregnant with our baby and yes. It's going to be the greatest joy when the baby comes. Yeah, and one thing like when we started our journey of waiting, we did speak to our pastors and one thing that our pastor said was that if a person is able to sin with you, that person will be Can able to sin against, against you. you. Yeah. So that was one of the drives to say that we need to stop sinning because sex before marriage is a it sin. Is, yeah, it is. Um sin. so we had to stop committing that sin and I knew that My husband was not when we got married and we had to wait. I knew that my husband was not going to sin against, against me. Yeah. I trusted I trusted the God in you. I always say that mm. like I really trusted the God in you and that if you were able to wait. Before. And and God has 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 really like he he showed himself big in in that period because as i said like it was not an easy thing to go through mm. but because of his strength like literally um one of the you, you know fasting also helps guys like, yes. I, i think i need to mention this fasting also cleanses your mind the way you think the way you just you hear from mm. god as well so i think that's when i was actually able to hear from god when, when god said you know what it's mm. time for you to stop doing what you're mm. doing and because your mind is so clear you will hear from god yeah. therefore that's that's exactly how it started so when we were in the situation i was not thinking because i, I knew that it's something that we can't have now yeah but i wasn't driving myself crazy thinking that you know what i can't survive, survive without this thing because i yeah. knew what was what was um coming yeah and also like you know we, now that you are mentioning fasting like spending time with god and being in the presence of the lord like all the time even through prayer through worship mm. Mm. because if we pull away we then become desensitized to his things yes. to his will for yes. our lives so that we stop when we are not in his presence we stop seeing sin yeah yes sin, yeah and we yeah. just do as we please mm. and we we justify our actions you go and watch pornography and you're yeah, like, I mean, like i'm not harming anyone yeah. you know like it's yeah. just me it's not like anyone is getting hurt you know yeah so the lesson that we we can say that we we learned from that whole thing is that when god speaks to you and you can hear you are going to have to listen because he is a god that sees way beyond mm. what what we can see in the future. we i mean the bible does say that we see in part mm. unfortunately we are not able to see where god can see so when he calls you to something now mm. he knows because he knows your future mm. therefore he will he, he he will prepare that journey for you before you even know it so mm. it's very important that you heed to the call of god, to the call of god mm. it says that sometimes we as humans we like i how is this going to help me yeah. i mean i want to test drive this thing so that if it in marriage <laughs> i know exactly yeah, where yeah it's but, working yeah exactly but yeah. in in that period i don't know how we would have survived yeah because when god called us to wait to now we know that he was preparing us for that period yeah. of our marriage had we not had we failed that, that test, test that initial test would have I failed us no like maybe maybe we wouldn't be married now yeah. i don't know i don't yeah. know what it would have meant but when god is calling you to do something god is calling you to stop being friends with a certain group of people god is calling you to stop drinking alcohol 
God is calling you to do something to even like do something positive. God is calling you to start that YouTube channel. Mm. There could be someone that you're saving. Exactly. You know, so we must we, we must listen to God. You know, yeah, have with that spirit of discernment. And we're not saying that we are now these holier than thou yeah. people, but there are certain things that you know it's all good and well to post like nice videos where we are saying, ah, oh, guys, we bought a car, oh, guys, we're going to wherever <laughs> to, to listen to. But you know, when we started this channel, that's one of the reasons why we actually um, started the channel. We said, you know, we actually want to tell a story of positivity, a story that God saves and God redeems, God is love. You know, yeah. that's, 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 why, that's the reason why we started this channel. We didn't want to get here and start playing games. Obviously, we're going to play games. <laughs> it's, it's, it's part of the fun. But that's yeah. not what the channel is about. And so. the anger, I think the anger scripture of our channel is Revelation. Is it Revelation 12 verse 12, 12. Hmm? Which 12 one? Verse the the one that says, yeah, that it's 12, 11. 12, 11. 11. Yeah. yeah. So it says they overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of a testimony. Um, so yeah, we are really about testimonies, but sometimes the testimonies come with pain and hurt. Like for you to be able to have a testimony, you're gonna have to go through the test. Yeah. You know. So yeah, man, that's that's really what we wanted to share. There isn't really much. We just wanted to share that story with you. Guys. And I also hope. just appreciate you guys for creating a space yeah. for us to yeah. shoot these videos mm -hmm. and to show us easy. these videos. Yeah. We never, literally, we never receive negative comments because yeah. you guys, you know, like you're always so positive. Mm. And, and it doesn't so mean much. that we are perfect. We, we know are not that we're perfect, not perfect. <laughs> We really appreciate you and yeah. we appreciate the love and the support. You're supporting our channel, subscribing to our channel and sharing our videos. Yeah. We really, really, really appreciate it. And also do share with us, what is that one thing God has actually called you to, whether you've ignored it or you've been ignoring it or you are ignoring it, but it, it's so <laughs> loud and clear in your voice. And what other measures as well like that, that, that you take to make sure that you you hear God's voice, like you intentionally yes. hear God's voice. Thank you guys for watching. May your neighbors respect you. Troubles neglect you. Family embrace you. And, and God, God bless you. you.